Okay, um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, this morning I'll be I'll be giving us the guidelines as regards to our biology practicals. Okay, so these are the specimen that we are asked to provide by NECO. Number one, specimen A is microscope, as we can see. Specimen B is a ripe mango fruit. Specimen C is a transverse section of a tomato fruit. Specimen D is a granite seed, so fried or dried. Specimen E is a maize grain. Specimen F is carrot. Specimen G is Irish potato, the raw one. Specimen H is water lily. Specimen I is a prawn. Specimen J is a tilapia fish. Specimen K is a tadpole within the um, week of eight to nine weeks old. Specimen L is spider. So let's go further to see um, what might likely come out depending on the specimens we are given. So let's turn to the next page. Okay. All right. This page is telling us about the specimen B and C. Specimen B and C, a ripe mango fruit and the transverse section of a tomato fruit. Difference between B and C. Okay, so let's take let's look at the difference. Mango, which is specimen B, tomato, which is specimen C. Number one, it mango it has only one seed. Okay, tomato it has many seeds. Two, endo endocells are hard, so strong. Then tomato is the endocarp is succulent, fresh, so soft. Okay, then we also see that the apicarp to mesocarp is separate for mango, but apicarp to mesocarp is fused for tomato. Okay, for only one chamber is fruit. Okay, many chamber is fruit for tomato. Then five, parietal placentation. Okay, it has parietal placentation white tomato has axial placentation okay mesocarp is fibrous for mango okay mesocarp membranes are lithera okay so similarities between b and c one both have fleshy or succulent mesocarp both have thin mesocarp both have seed okay the classification of specimen b and c Okay, they are classified into agricultural classification, then life cycle classification. So let's turn over and see. Okay, in agricultural classification, specimen B is classified as a fruit crop. Okay, specimen C is classified as a tomato. Yeah? Specimen C is classified as a vegetable crop. Then in terms of classification on life cycle, specimen B, which is mango, is a perennial crop. Specimen C, which is tomato, is an annual crop. What type of presentation found in C? Tomato is Asia presentation. Example of fruits with similar placenta. Okay. Example in specimen C, which is tomato, we have garden egg, pepper, purple, orange, melon, guava. Example of fruits with similar placenta observed in specimen B is mango, oil, palm nuts, and coconut. All right. So let's push. Okay, specimen D and E. Specimen D and E. Describe how you can test for the presence of protein in specimen D. Granot seed. Number one, apparatus, test tube, specimen D, millions reagents, boxing burner, and a crucible. Method, crush the seed of specimen D in a crucible, put small quantity in a boiling tube, add millions reagent, and heat over a boxing burner flame. Observation. White precipitate, which later changed to red, is formed. Inference color, it indicates the presence of protein. Second method, crush one or two of specimen D with the aid of a blade stroke flat portion of the carpel on the filter paper provided. Observe the stain on the paper by holding the paper until the day, until daylight. Okay, observe translucent, translucent, the food substance contained in D is fats and oil. So let's proceed. 
Then we also talk about functions of the food substance in D. Number one, it provides energy for work, provides warmth to maintain body temperature, that is act as an insulator. What class does specimen D belong to? It's, it belongs to legume, so leguminous. Agricultural importance of the class of specimen D mentioned above. Number one, possession of root nodules, which harbor nitrogen fixing bacteria which make nitrate available to the plants. Specimen E, which is maize grain. State the agricultural classification of specimen E. Number one, cereal. Pest that is likely to affect specimen E is maize weevil. Ways of preferencing the activity of the named pest during storage is the use of, number one, the use of pesticide. Number two, the use of e Irradiation, disadvantage of the name control measure of the pest during storage. It can be transferred along the food chain. It can cause food poisoning. Test on specimen E, maize grain. Test observation, add a few drops of iodine solution to a crushed specimen E. It turns blue-black. This indicates the presence of starch. Specimen F, which is carrots. The part modified for F is roots. Part used for propagation is root tuber to seed. Stored material in specimen F, vitamins, starch, sugar. Okay, so let's proceed. Test for specimen F. Crush a small grain of F and add two drops of iodine solution. Observation, blue-black color form. Inference, presence of starch. Specimen G, Irish potato. Specimen, specimen which can be used for reproduction includes Irish potato. Observable features in G, in specimen G with reasons. Presence of board for sprouting to produce new shoots. State the observable feature of G. It has boards for reproduction. It has stems. It has lenticles. Boards of Irish potatoes are covered with scale. Irish potatoes store food. Boards of Irish potatoes buried in tuba. Okay, so let's proceed. Specimen H, water lily. Scientific name, Nephesia. Family, Nephesia or sal salives, order, of course we know that, I don't know how to pronounce it, kingdom plantae, specimen I, which is a prawn, you can see the specimen, give two reasons each to support your answers, two pairs of antenna, rostrum present, is a pair, a pair of stock eyes, swimmerance present, presence of unwrapped antelson, okay, Respiratory organ of specimen I, prawn, is gills. Specimen J and K, tilapia, and, tilapia fish and tadpole, 8 to 9 weeks. Specimen K, examine the ventral parts of specimen K and list four observable features. Number one, coils to long intestine. Number two, strip muscles, straight muscles. Okay. Number three, it presents soccer. Number four, limb board. Number five, tail, so tail fin. Suggest the diet of specimen K, giving reasons. Feeds on plants with vegetation, so weed. Phytoplankton, because of the long coiled intestine. Ventral part of the specimen K, which is not used by organism at this stage. Remnants, okay, remnants of soccer are present, not, as well as not needed anymore. Organism has changed from early sedimentary habits. Attract, attracted to weeds to actively swimming st gear, stage. Sorry. Observable features of K. Long muscular tail, transparent fin for swimming, possession of internal gills, and spiral crew. Okay, so let's proceed. Adult stage of K. Okay, we'll have a tooth of frog, external feature common to G and K. Tail, caudal fin, nostril, mouth, eyes, um, gill cover, streamlined body. Okay, difference between J and K. Specimen J it has a short tail, specimen K it has a long tail. Two limbs absent, limbs present, scales present, scales absent, literal line present, literal line absent, has many fins, has on required fins, tilapia, so bony fish, and tadpole. Okay, so let's continue. How its external fissures adapt the specimen G to its environment? Number one, streamlined body for rapid, easy movement with vast resistance. Caudal fin for steering, muscular tail, forward propulsive force, medians to median for stability in water, 
Okay, parallel fin for steering in water, overlapping, rapid movements to release resistance, lateral line, detection of vibration. Okay, present in the gills, gill cover for breathing, mouth for inflow of water for respiration, dark gray silvery for dark gray silvery in, um, surface for camouflage against predictor. Okay, so let's continue. Classes of food that specimen G gives in human nutrient. Number one, proteins, fat and oil to lipid, various vitamins. Observable specimen L, spider. Observable feature, body divided into two main regions. Cephalotaurus, stroke, okay, abdomen. Abdomen not seg segmented, four pairs of legs, no antenna, stroke, antenna. One pair of pedipal, hairs on body, sucking mat path. Four pairs of simple eye, spinach present. Okay, so let's continue. Similarities between I and L. Continuous exoskeleton, two body division, no wing, jointed legs, so appendages. The class L belongs to specimen L, uh, Archenida. Give two reasons each to support your answer. Two body division, lung antenna, one pair of peripheral, four leg, pair of legs. Okay, features of specimen L are used for defense. Spider, a poison of the gland present, presence of the spine on the body. Respiratory organ of L, long book stroke, trachea. Okay, specimen A, which is the microscope. Types of microscope have light microscope. The microscope is an instrument used to observe tiny structures of living organisms which cannot be seen or observed by the naked eye. Organisms which can only be seen using the aid of microscopes are called microscopic organisms. Types of microscope, compound microscope, light microscope, electronic microscope, and lens to magnifier lens. Hard lens are the simplest and the most commonly used magnifier in the laboratory for magnifying tiny things and objects and all other objects. Okay. Then we also go parts of a microscope. Number two, the plain mirror. It helps to direct light rays to the objects. The ball, the the base, the base, this part represents the metallic base which enables the microscope to rest properly on the table. The stage, this part represents where the object's tube is placed. It's uh, object to be placed. The, the clips, these are tiny structures which help to hold the structure for proper viewing. Handle or arm, this part is used to carry the microscope. Condenser, it consists of a, uh, a power which enables, which condenses the light rays from the plane mirror and direct them to the object. Rotary NASA piece. This part is where the objective lens of varying magnification are fitted. Okay. So the earpiece lenses. This part represents where the observer puts its eyes when viewing the object through the microscope. Adjustment of these are made up of two components. Quartz adjustment. This is used in bringing the object into other focus. Fine adjustment. This is used to ensure a cleaner view by sharpening the focus object. Then the objective lens. This lens, which is usually placed slight above the object, is used for magnification. So, um, these, I believe these can be able to help us out in our exam. So, stay tuned and also comment in case you, ask, you have any question. Or probably if you need a soft copy of this, uh, of this project, please, you can um, comment so that I can send it to you via PDF. Thank you so much and stay tuned to my channel. Remain blessed.